Finally, this day has come. The most typical mistake when applying gel on your nails is now turned into nail art trend. First, I saw these bubbles nails on Instagram. I was like, that is going to be a piece of cake because sometimes by accident you apply gel and you get some bubbles inside and you're like, all right, finally, it's trending. But the reality is that this is one of the most challenging trends I've ever tried. It's so hard. It took me at least three days, an insane amount of different tools and products, trial and errors, until I finally figured out how it works. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe because I never give up until I make some nail art trend work and we'll explain all the details to you so you can do it as well. Let's get started. Hello guys, this is Anastasia. This video is about bubbles trends, so we are going to focus on the nail art. I already applied some soft gel tips and now I'm going to file this margin between the nail and the tip. If you would like to see on how to apply soft gel tips, how to do it all, I have plenty of videos on my channel about it with detailed tutorials. I will leave the link somewhere in the upper right corner. There is the whole playlist with this technique. I noticed this bubbles nails trend a few weeks ago on social media and I liked it immediately because it reminds me of these cute bubbles in the water. It's not like the trend we had a while ago with the actual liquid moving inside of the nails. Nothing is moving here, but it still looks cute. And there were already plenty of tutorials on social media, so I started watching them. In most tutorials, you can see that these bubbles are created by injecting air inside of some gel product. I also noticed that the majority of these tutorials were created on tips. And you definitely know that creating certain things on the tips is much easier compared on real hands. So once I found some artworks on the hands, I noticed that these nails are extremely thick. I'm not judging or criticizing these works in any ways. And I'm aware that sometimes you need to have some extra volume of the product in order to get the desired nail art. And that's totally normal. I just started thinking that among my clients, what if I offer them the design? Would they be willing to have it on their nails? And realize that if it will come with so much volume, definitely not. They will not agree to it. So I started wondering, is there a way to achieve a similar look, but without having some extra volume on the top? And the first solution is definitely having long nails, because the longer nails you have, the more product you can add to the apex area without making them look bulky. That's why we decided to do soft gel tips. And after filing this area near the cuticle, I apply some builder gel and add some near the cuticle so the surface will be smooth and we will not have any margin. If you will use regular colors for this design, you will not be able to see the bubbles. So it is better to use some semi-transparent ones or even better jelly colors. We decided to use blue color for this hand to recreate the look of bubbles in the ocean or in the sea. And we will try a different color on another hand and then I will show you both and you will tell me which one do you like the most. If we will just apply jelly color on the nail, it is going to look a little boring. So we are going to try some kind of ombre. The color will be darker, closer to the free edge and to the cuticle area, and it will be more transparent in the middle, exactly where we're going to add some bubbles. You will need to apply one or two coat of your jelly color first, fully cure it, and then apply thicker coat of the color only along the side walls and cuticle area. And then with the ombre brush, I'm slightly going to fade the color. So it will look like we have some kind of rocks under the water. I divided it into sections for a reason, because the color I'm using is medium thin consistency. And if I apply it all right away surrounding the nail, it may flood the sidewalls. So I do some part of the ombre, then I flash cure it for like one or two seconds, and then I proceed. But if you have a thicker consistency in jelly colors, then you can do it all at once. By the way, this design looks pretty cool by itself, so maybe we could stop at this point and already have a finished nail art. 
But remember, we are on a mission of exploring new nails trend. So I'm going to cure it for one minute and take off this sticky layer because now we're going to add some bubbles. And there are a few different ways to do this. I will show you the one that is the most popular on social media now, I guess, when you create these bubbles separately from the nail and then you add them. You will need any dual form to do this. Then you apply some gel. You can apply a thin coat first and then cure it and then apply more. This way you will have some cured gel underneath and you will not need to worry when you create a bubble that it is going to be all the way through. This part is actually not too hard to recreate, but if you take too much product, like a really thick layer, it will be quite easy to create the bubbles inside. But the problem is you will not be able to work with it because it is going to make your nails extremely bulky and thick. And my goal was to make them super thin and flexible so the nails at the end of the day would be also wearable. And that was the biggest challenge. So I tried so many different kinds of gels. We tried super thick gel, we tried thin gel. And I'm saying we because at this point, my colleague Anna, who's my former student and now she's educator for pedicure classes at Nails Pro Academy, she was helping me with that. We figured that among the products that we have, top coat with a sticky layer works the best. So we applied some into the dual form and then I flash cured for a couple seconds. And that's it. You don't need more. Take a small syringe and inject some air right under the product. It's kind of hard to control the shape, the size and the positioning of the bubbles. So you just do it and see if you like the shape of them. And since the product underneath is not fully cured yet, you can move them, you can fix them before you fully cure it, however you like it. Avoid creating the bubbles too close to the sidewalls. The majority of them should be in the middle of the nail because this is where we're going to build the apex. And if you did not apply too much product, it will not be too thick and you will have this extra space to add it onto the nail. Then we fully cure it for one minute in LED and then you can just separate it from the dual form. And since it's pretty thin, you can also see that it is flexible because when we tried different builder gels and added more product, it was not possible to even move it so it will match with the curve of the nail. From this point, technically, this is just some kind of accessory we created ourselves. And now our goal is to add it onto the nail. Be careful though, because the place where you have the bubble, it's very thin, which means there is a super thin layer of the gel on top and on the bottom, and it is quite easy to accidentally break it. That's why I figured that the top coat is the best solution here because it's rather flexible, but it's still holding the product. Then you just take this part you created and add it on top of the nail. We created a few of them and then we decide which one is matching with the nail the better. When you're doing the one for the thumb, then it's better to take a larger size of the dual form so it will also match with the shape of the nail and as well as with the curve. Then we check if it is suitable for this nail. It should not be bigger or wider than the nail itself and then it's time to install it. You can use any product of your choice. We decided to use a regular gel. Just apply it then put it on top of the nail and cure it. Since the product is transparent, we do not need to worry that it's not going to cure. It will be all good. And then I thought maybe there is a different and easier way to do this because man, this one is taking like forever. So I tried a different method where we technically do the same, but we're going to inject bubbles on top of the nail itself. So I added some color, I added some top coat, then I flash cured for a couple seconds, not more than that. And we are going to add bubbles right here on the nail. It's a little tricky when you do it on the nail because sometimes there might be too much air and the seal of the gel that you have on the bottom may break from the side. But it's working, as you can see, and while the product was not fully cured, you can slightly move it, you can clean it, and you can shape these bubbles technically however you like. 
once you're happy with the shape of the bubbles it is better to freeze cure them again so they will not move and then fully cure for one minute in led i definitely like the second method better because it's easier and faster and you will also not need to worry that now there's too much product on the top and now you have to file and shape it later i figured out another disadvantage of the first method is because when you apply something on top of the nail you need to add some gel around it but since our design is completely transparent and technically you can see through every single small bubble every single line this line will be visible as well even if you seal it with a clear gel However, this is art, so we always need to find a different ways to fix everything and we could add some glitter or some kind of other accessories or design elements and it will not be really visible. When I added more blue jelly color, I thought that maybe it looks even better this way because it reminds you of some kind of wave or rocks under the sea and still looks nice. But the more product you add on top, the more filing and shaping you will need later. As you know, I try to avoid too much filing and shaping at all costs, so I still prefer the first method. Another disadvantage of filing and shaping in this exact design is because we have some air bubbles and if we accidentally file too much from the top, we may open this air bubble and the design will be destroyed. I'm showing you now the final look, the final design created on the model, but as I was exploring and trying this trend, I tried so many different products from thin consistency to thick consistency gels. We try different kinds of syringe because some come with a super small needle, sometimes it's the bigger needle, and there's also another one, I'm not sure what's the correct name of it, syringe that comes with the needle but it's not sharp. I hope this explanation makes any sense. I was really hoping that maybe this one is going to work better, but it wasn't. So it's all about the product that you choose and how much time you flash cure it. If you over cure it, it's not going to work. If you under cure it, then it will not be possible to do the bubbles. After filing and shaping, we were still able to see the numbers of the tips. And since we have a fully transparent design, that's not going to look very well. So we decided to file them off from underneath the nails. And when you're doing a designs like this, like a fully see-through jelly designs, it's also important to seal it from all sides. So we are also going to apply some top coat underneath the nails so they will be fully transparent. And of course, we're going to seal them from the top. So we have one hand that is blue color and another one is like magenta purple. At the beginning, I thought that only blue color is going to be suitable for this design because it looks like a water. But at the end, I loved the second hand as well. So let me know which one do you like the most and are you going to try this trend or maybe you already did. Please let me know which method did you use or are you going to use and what do you think overall about this kind of trends. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials and nail art trends just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.